Okay, so I'm going to do a walkthrough now of, of this um, to make sure that the character is actually chasing us. Um, I'm click on enemy force so that I can see all of the um, items that we need down on the bottom, particularly this distance to player. I'm going to be checking out the numbers that appear in that slot. So I'm not going to maximize this on player. I want to see these at the same time. And I've turned off the audio as well. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom. So we can see distance to player is not yet activated. But then when we get within a certain range, the, the enemy comes towards us and he's running. And at the moment, he's sort of hitting himself in the head with a baseball bat. So uh, I think the animation needs sorting out there. Uh, so the range that I've chosen the attack distance is, is too small. Okay, so let's try three. Okay. Let's take a look now. Ah, there we go. That's better. I notice that he's sort of circling us at the moment, which I think is quite interesting. It makes it much more difficult to actually attack the enemy because he's constantly moving around us. Uh, and if we take a look at that distance to player, it's constantly updating. Okay, so I'm going to run backwards now and notice that he comes running toward us. Okay, and you can see at the bottom there that distance to player is just constantly updating. Okay, so let's get maybe to about here. Okay, and then instantly again he starts walking. So in the next section when he when we work on the attack animations, he will actually be attacking us. That's kind of weird next because I've got no shadow, so but a bit like a vampire or something. Um yeah, so the character is pretty relentless. Uh, now at the moment, obviously, I can just run as fast as I want, and it's very easy to escape him. Shortly, we're going to be working on um, a stamina for the player, so the player won't be able to um, outrun the enemy for very long. It's definitely going to have to get into some combat at some point. That's kind of weird that the enemy's uh, sort of... <laughs> he's found a way to get to me, but he was sort of stuck on the nav mesh there. Um, yeah, I think this is working uh, so far. Now, I think what might be really good is if we get too close to the player, some kind of intense music breaks out and we really feel the intensity of this chase. Uh, I think that might be quite good.